I'm Mark Morris. I'm a 20-year-old uh, sophomore over at Hilbert College in uh, Hamburg, New York, a suburb of Buffalo. I have a detrology of flow with pulmonary atresia, pretty much in layman's terms, you know, pulmonary artery. He was three days old when he had his first heart surgery. It was frightening because he's our first child. He's our only mm -hmm. child. So it wasn't like I knew anybody who had it. You find the information you need, and then you just pretend, you go on like life is normal. We're kind of stuck in the middle going to a pediatric cardiologist, but he doesn't want to be there, he's 20 years old. Yeah. He wants to be where there's adults, so there really is a missing link. Well, that's actually exactly the reason we're here. Um, I mean, the transition between pediatric care, what we really found is that um, the adult cardiac center and the adolescents and the transition program uh, that we saw here it was just fantastic. Mark was looking at uh, needing to undergo a, a procedure for uh, a valve dysfunction. He had other procedures in Buffalo where the plan was to balloon his valve and the concern really by the family was that this would not provide adequate relief for the problems with his heart and how he was feeling. Yeah, we were confused. Uh, people weren't answering questions where we were. It was just really it was really a tough time, and all we wanted was t to have a plan. You know, we're sort of crazy that way. We wanted a plan. Dr. Daniels gave us one, and everybody else just made it all possible. Well, the alternative procedure that we were considering for Mark uh, was to perform a transcatheter pulmonary valve replacement, uh, termed the Melody valve. So we set out a, a three-day plan, basically, uh, in which he would arrive in Columbus undergo studies uh, the following day and get a better sense of whether or not he'd be a candidate for this procedure. I think today's going to be the nerve-wracking part to figure out what's going to happen.